cataractcoach.com, angle gonio before and after surgery. So now we know doing cataract surgery really does fix narrow angles. So here's a patient you can put the gonio mirror on top of the eye at the beginning of the case and take a look here at the angle. So a patient has very narrow angles here. And as you see, you put that mirror on, you can rotate it and you get a view 360 of the angle. And there you can see here looking at the other side as well. And so maybe even some angle closure, history of angle closure, but very narrow angles. So we're not doing the cataract surgery. Now, what's different in the cataract surgery here? Well, obviously, in these cases, you have a shallower anterior chamber. And so a little trick here is maybe loosen up that speculum a little bit. Sometimes if you really crank the speculum open, that can exert some posterior pressure, make it a little more challenging. Let's take a look here. Got a good look in pairs and desis. Let's see the main incision here. Video sped up a little bit, so just so we can get through the whole thing. Nice look at single plane incision. Now, when you get the rexes done, remember, you're harder, you'll have a harder time flattening out that anterior lens capsule with this elastic. So you may be more likely to get the rexes to run out. So you want to be careful of that. So here, using forceps, poking in, getting that rexus started. So just be cognizant that you may have a shallower AC, and therefore the rexus may want to run out. And if you need to put more viscoelastic, you definitely put more. So now getting that erexus done, that looks pretty good. And it looks like those forceps are also marked off at 2.5 and, and 5 millimeters. That's a good looking 5 millimeter erexus. Now here's some hydro dissection. In a case like this, I would not want to prolapse the nucleus out of the capture bag. You want to keep this in the bag just because you have a very shallow anterior chamber. So easy to do your nucleofractus, whether it's phaco chop or stop and chop, in the capsule bag. So good hydro dissection there. Let's see if the nucleus will rotate a little bit, a little extra aliquot of viscoelastic. And let's see the technique here, phaco probe going in. And let's see bevel up, cleaning up some maybe some cortex. And here comes a chopper. And it looks like kind of a paddle chopper, maybe a combo chop. That's a good looking chop right there in the bag. Get that thing rotated around. Get one piece out of the eye. So yeah, not too dense of a cataract. You know, we had a great podcast episode. And we talked to Johnny Gayton. It really was very early on publishing a lot of the studies that showed that doing cataract surgery really was the best solution for patients with narrow angles. And if you have a patient who's, you know, of cataractous age and has some early cataracts and has very narrow angles, this is the ultimate solution. Because think about it, you're taking out this four and a half millimeter thick human lens, the crystalline lens, the cataract, and replacing it with a man-made eye. Well, that's, you know, a millimeter thin, maybe even thinner. And that really restores the angle anatomy. So a little more viscoelastic going inside the eye here. And um, maybe time for some cortex removal. Let me tell you first about cataractcoach.com or teaching website. So much great material on there. Hey, follow me on Insta also. I got a beautiful Instagram. If you want these same videos, we cut right to the good part. Just check it out. And again, cataractcoach.com is the website. Also remember about our podcast. So like I was saying, Johnny Gaten podcast was a fantastic episode, and we learned so much. And I think this is now the treatment of choice. So you get a patient coming into your clinic who's, let's say, you know, late 60s, early 70s, and as they get older, the angle becomes shallower because why? Well, they get more cataract development. As the cataract develops more, the AC becomes a little more shallow because the cataract thickness anterior to posterior increases as the cataract develops there. And then by doing the cataract surgery, and putting it on a thin eye, well, boy, we can absolutely restore the angle anatomy here. And we're going to see this at the end of the case in this patient here. And this is even just right on the OR table. Immediately, you'll see restoration of appropriate angle anatomy. And then once the eye heals up and you get capsular bag contraction, as you know, it'll be even a nicer result here in terms of the angle. So there we go. Get some viscoelastic in the bag. Put the eye well in. There we go. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens coming up. And get that nicely delivered. There it is, 28 and a half diopter. So, yeah, very high power lens. So, patients obviously hyperopic, shallow AC, short axial length. 28 and a half diopter. Those patients probably a bit of a hypero, plus three, four hypero or more to begin with before surgery, before cataract development. And then this patient, of course, he aimed for close to emetropia, patients can be pretty happy. On a patient like this, I'd aim for just a slight amount of hyper. I'd rather this patient end up plus a quarter than minus a half. Now, I know minus a half is far more useful, especially someone like me, who I really appreciate low myopia. 
But a patient like this, remember, has been so hyperopic for the entirety of life that if you leave them a little on the myopic step, sometimes they don't like it. So here's the end of the case. Sealing up the incisions, very nicely done. Let's put that mirror back on the hour, the prism, and now take a look at the angle. Wow, much wider. And this is just right here on the operating room table. So clearly, the best treatment for narrow angles in a patient who has at least some development of cataract is cataract surgery. It just fixes the shallow anterior chamber, fixes the narrow angles. Again, check out our podcast every week, a brand new episode. I promise you'll love it. And follow me on Instagram.